Welcome to Watchbox Studios, where we are joined by Fred Martel, the brand president of Bon Mercier North America. Uh, we're at Henry Davidson, which is a bespoke tailor in Philadelphia, uh, a couple blocks away from Govberg Jewelers. So welcome to the show, Fred. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thanks for, thanks for joining us. Uh, we met back in, uh, in, in 2009 when I joined the Richemont Group for uh, Roger Dubois, and you were there because uh, George Kern was actually in charge of Roger Dubois, uh, IWC, of course, yes. and also Bon Mercier. That's correct. Right? Absolutely. So um, you, were, you were sort of taking care of, well, you were taking care of the IWC marketing, but you were also overseeing uh, Roger Dubois as well. Mm -hmm. um, so tell us a little bit about, uh, about that journey uh, uh, at Richemont. Watches were a passion when I was a kid. Then at some point I said, okay, is there a way you can uh, sort of mix, mix uh, your professional career with your passion? Mm -hmm. And this is how I started. And uh, so that started already back in, in France. And, uh, and I would say, it. so I started at, uh, at Richemont uh, in 2001 uh, with uh, Vachon Constantin. And then uh, after that, the group acquired IWC and I've been fortunate enough to, to be able to join the, the IWC team and we were building the teams when they incorporated it to Richmond. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is where uh, I met George Kern and, uh, and started working uh, for the marketing department in, uh, in France. And then a <coughs> few years after, George Kern uh, proposed me to, uh, to go to the US mm -hmm. and, uh, and replicate a little bit what we did in France and to uh, build uh, again the, the marketing team and the marketing department. And, um, develop the awareness of the brand in, uh, in such which, a big market. Which you did a great, one. great job because at the time I, I literally watched the brand turn into you know what it is today. So a lot of a lot of the work that was done, it's let's say in the United yeah. States, uh, you had a real yes, uh, hand in it. Yes, but you know when you are like uh, when you have a, a CEO like George Kern that pushes you and uh, allow you to do this uh, this work, it's uh, also I think uh, easier, mm -hmm. and uh, that was a very a very nice ride. For so uh, I spent nine years at uh, at IWC and uh, building this awareness and uh, here in the, in the US, I left the group to uh, go and work for Audemars Piguet. Uh, where I met François Benamias, who uh, recruited me. So uh, after like uh, over four, four years and a half at uh, Audemars, um, Alain Zimmerman, uh, who is the, uh, the, the CEO of Baume Mercier, that I, uh, I met about 10 years ago and working with him already on the marketing side when he was running the, the, the marketing for IWC. So this is where we, uh, we worked already together. And he called me and, uh, and proposed me to, uh, to take over the, the, the US subsidiary. So, uh, well, so that's like now where, um, after all those years, I would say, of uh, growing my expertise yeah. and uh, specifically here in North America, I've been there for about 13 years here in the market. I think I know uh, pretty well the market. And, uh, and so now I, um, I'm here running and bon merci. Yeah, and I thought that it was important to have you here because of that. Um, uh, I think your, your background <coughs> and who you've worked for and the brands that you've worked for um, you know, I've watched your career and I've seen you go places. So um, I think that it's, it's uh, especially for our viewers, I wanted to sort of show them what it's like be uh, behind, who mm -hmm. are the people behind the brands. Yeah. No, absolutely. Bon Mercier, I think the beauty of the brand is that it's like the, the, the best you can get in, uh, in Swiss watch made mm -hmm. for the most affordable price. We're a celebration brand. So basically, uh, Bon Mercier is for most of people your first luxury watch that you that you will get uh, so we are the first touch point to get access to the luxury watches so we have a clear mission here at, uh, at Baume Mercier and uh, within the group is to try to educate uh, young consumer to the the high-end watches so I want to thank you and your team for bringing some really cool pieces yeah. to show um, and uh, to lend me I'm I'm wearing this 42 millimeter stainless steel uh, ADLC yes um, it's an automatic uh, hours minutes seconds with date rubber strap love this watch um, price points uh, I think one of the one of the benefits from buying Bon Mercier is you're getting a fine made mm -hmm. Swiss watch um, at very good price points. So obviously we are known for our classical uh, collection mm -hmm. for men's, women, and, uh, but we are now enlarging. It's basically an answer uh, to the or response to, the, to the, the really the demands of our customer. The Clifton Club is for us like an important collection. This is the reintroduction of the sport 
uh, segment to the brand. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, the, in 2017, we launched the Clifton Club Automatic, the mm -hmm. one that you wear or the one that I'm wearing here mm -hmm. still on bracelet, um, which is um, the perfect watch for, uh, for this uh, elegant guy who wants to have a um, very versatile watch. Mm -hmm. So today, uh, sports segment obviously is, is big here in the US. Absolutely. And uh, this is, uh, you, 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 can, you cannot not have a sport watch within the collection because today the consumer wants to be um, elegant, yet being able to go from office to an outdoor activity and wearing the same watch. Mm -hmm. You brought some watches with us, so why don't Correct. we why don't we tackle some of the watches, exactly. if you can... So last year, so I mentioned that we launched the, the, the automatic version. Mm -hmm. uh, what I want and what we brought today is like, uh, is fresh out of the oven. It's basically the novelty that we launched at SIH this year, and that will be released uh, in April. So, what, so do, what do we have here? So for example, here, now we enlarge the collection uh, with the Quartz model. After launching in uh, 2017 the automatic version, um, we are now launching the Quartz version. This is uh, a calf strap uh, that has been... Um, That's that nice. Is, yes. So you have a calf strap uh, with uh, rubberized in the, in the inside. So, that so it's rubberized and it's calf. Rubberized you've, calf got yes. the, you've got orange accents on it. Exactly. That wants to, uh, to mimic, if you want, the, the sailcloth that, uh, that we hear. So this is not sailcloth. This is calf with that pattern that is... Um, that is exclusive to Bombay Mercier. So you've got the Quartz Clifton Club. Correct. And, and what's the millimeters? The You're in 42 millimeters. So 42 millimeters. And then the automatic with the white dial. Exactly. Really you have nice a white dial. It exists, it exists also on the black uh, version, mm -hmm. either on a strap or on a bracelet then. And then you have the more sporty uh, looking guy with that uh, ADLC case. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the straps. I like the, uh, yes. the material on them. The... Um, I like the color, the stitching, um. the dial, and then if you look and if you uh, take uh, attention to the dial, you will see as well like the the fact that it's a three-dimensional dial, mm -hmm. and you have the flange as well with this orange touch that mimic the the the, um, the uh, second hand, and so. Uh, when you look at it from the front, you won't see it, but then as soon as you give some angles, you see that that orange flange that gives it like this poly look. Excellent, and 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 your your. Uh, your automatic watches, they're either Valjou or they're Celita movements, correct? That's correct. We're using a Celita on the automatic uh, watch like this. It's not that thick, so it goes under your jacket ve very well. And then you can, uh, you can still keep it uh, to your outdoor activity at night, etc. And uh, that's like, uh, what's your it's really uh, shock resistant. And uh, here you will see also your, uh, the, the bezel yeah, the that has also the ADLC uh, treatment. So really uh, scratch proof and so one of the big pillars for us this year again is focusing on clifton club mm -hmm. so that sports segment and to continue to enrich that sports segment you know in a brand also you need a, a storytelling mm -hmm. you need to romance the brand and uh, um, we have been successful in the past three years to uh, to develop a partnership with shelby cobra mm -hmm. and we had that trilogy uh, of watches mm -hmm. to tell the story of Shelby and the partnership with Bombay Mercier. So then this year we come with, uh, with this new partnership with Indian Motorcycle, Super. first American <laughs> uh, motorcycle brand. Mm -hmm. So it was for us uh, a perfect combination. Mm -hmm. So we were uh, lucky to, to be able to partner with them and develop a collection for them and uh, with them actually. So it's a um, three model, chronograph mm -hmm. automatic, mm -hmm. yes, using the Valjou, the 7750. Mm -hmm. um, here you have this version, which is a tribute to the, um, their legendary bikes. So this is for the, their uh, uh, Scout. And this is, the, this is a, a, a chronograph? It's chronograph. Where you have a, a date? Yes, so I, en alors, so I would invite you now that you're like turning and playing with the date. To go get to the 19. And go to the 19. Got and it. you will see, so the, ah. the window, will show you the 19 with 01 to commemorate, obviously, creation of Indian Motorcycle. Which was started in 1901. That's right. And this is a limited that edition. This is a limited edition. One 19, out of? Yes, one out of 1901 pieces. Um, this is for the scout. So you will look at also the, uh, the way um, the dial has this uh, cut out here mm -hmm. is to like commemorate the, uh, the the engine of those uh, those bikes the the, the V twin and the strap itself is is used from the leather of a saddle right uh, that's like to symbolize the, the the leather from the saddles but what we did here we went and used 
um, uh, letter from Owen in Chicago, the legendary uh, like uh, manufacturer of leather, which is basically what is great is that like a great character and uh, will um, age with a beautiful patina. Got it. Yeah, that's nice. So you I have the stamp that. of the Owen uh, manufacturer on the back, really again to make it to to really continue and to tell that uh, beautiful American story. I mean, this is a, this is a this is a beautiful watch uh, of this collection. I, I'm gonna point yes. out one of my favorites, which is the uh, Burt Monroe. That's correct. Tribute to Burt Monroe. Burt Monroe was that New Zealander who uh, who had a passion for motorcycle but for speed. And uh, in, in 1920, mm -hmm. he bought yeah. an Indian bike that was uh, the fastest speed uh, this bike could go was 55 miles per hour. For him, it was not, uh, not uh, enough. Yeah. So he spent about like uh, uh, over 55 years in transforming his bike from 1920 to put him and to push that, uh, uh, that engine to go faster. And uh, this, uh, this gentleman uh, went on the Bonneville uh, sort of like flat uh, to really try to beat the, the, the record. Uh, and then he, he beat the record of 184, 184 uh, miles per hour, miles per hour uh, on a streamliner that was made out of his bike from 1920. And he spent 50 years doing that. So, uh, years. So, so the least they can do is make a tribute watch. <laughs> so this year, yes, they are commemorating the 50th anniversary of that mm -hmm. commemoration. And so uh, we came up with this model. So what a lot of uh, attention to detail mm -hmm. here that you have. So his lucky number was the, the 35, 35 yellow that you could see on that streamliner with that uh, long like uh, black stripe. Uh, the, the dial is uh, sandblasted and has a lot of, if you want, um, if you look at it carefully, to, to, to give Resemble the, 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 the symbol flats. absolutely mm -hmm. on Bonneville. Um, and then the eye, each watch will have on the second hand the eye of, uh, of the, the Indian, Indian yeah, logo. Nice. Uh, a lot of, uh, uh, again, a lot of attention to detail, mm -hmm. the logo of Indian motorcycle on the back. And this one will be limited to um, 1967 uh, pieces, which is the date of uh, where he, he broke that record that still stands today. So we already have some cu customer feedback because, uh, to tell you the truth, we have uh, watches that are already pre-ordered on our e-com platform uh, and then at some uh, uh, of our retail partners uh, that already took some orders. Which I know we, we've probably taken a couple of orders. Yes. Uh, so we have some people that are actually waiting on this piece. So <laughs> we have three models and this last version is uh, again this chronograph automatic on steel on bracelet and this is here tribute to the, the, the chief. They are like uh, bigger bikes and uh, uh, where we will see again there is the, the fact that this dial here is black is like the, normally the color of that big chief. Uh, you will uh, find again that red hand with the, uh, the emblematic eye and uh, the same. They're all the very, same. yeah, they're all very nice styles. I mean, the dials are, 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 are beautiful and that's the first thing you see on a watch. Yes, and the, the uh, bezel as well, that is uh, ADLC mm -hmm. um, treated there. Uh, again, it's uh, it's um, a very it's a beautiful watch, an mm -hmm. elegant chrono sport, mm -hmm. and uh, um, at a, at, a, at about like thirty nine hundred dollars. Fred, I want to thank you once again for coming down. Um, I think that they're really beautiful watches. Is there anything you want to tease us with uh, about the future? Anything else that we should be on the lookout for? Yes, so actually we present what we presented uh, this year at SIHH is also there is another talking piece. It's the um, the launch of our first manufacture caliber with within the, the Clifton collection. So we launch a Clifton Bomatic mm -hmm. for that uh, manufacture movement we launched that has really, uh, that's, it has been a mini revolution, I would say, at SIHH. Uh, we were happy to make some noise there and that uh, you must have seen it in, uh, in, in the media as well. But um, I don't want to really uh, tell, tell you too much about it. What, uh, what is it? Because what I would love to is invite you later this year to come and to uh, and to get also a sneak peek or a preview of those awesome. watches because you will uh, you will see that we can be uh, a brand that will create those watches at a very aff affordable price but we came up with uh, something that is a clear revolution in our industry and with a, a beautiful benefit for the end customer one of the things that i want to ask you about is um, we have been kind of talking about time and what does time mean for everybody and the importance of time. How do you value time? What does time mean for you? <sighs> it, it, it's a tough question. <laughs> it means a lot because obviously we don't have enough time. Uh, and and uh, 
definitely not enough to spend with family. It's, uh, it's difficult to manage that time, but I try to do it because it's a necessity for me. And one of the things that we do, for example, I would tell you on that side, that there is one moment every day that we cannot miss is breakfast. Because breakfast for us, everybody will have to wake up earlier to have at least that 30 minutes. We are mm -hmm. all around the table all together because this is almost the only meal that we spend during the week together. And this is for me a, a crucial. So those 30 minutes, it's like priceless and gives me like the, the energy for the rest of the day. Fred, uh, I want to thank you and your team for organizing um, your time to be able to come out to Philadelphia to meet with us at Gothenburg Jewelers to talk a little bit about... Uh, it was a real pleasure. Yeah, to thank talk you. especially to introduce the Clifton Club. Um, I mean, it uh, looks like you guys are doing some really big things, and I look forward to seeing you in New York. Yes. When you're going to show us the new Balmatic. Absolutely, you have to come. But before, like, uh, just uh, closing, I want to say, like, because we're talking a lot about Indian, and I think you need also ah. uh, to gear up because <laughs> I want to take you on a ride this year on those bikes. So uh, that's, I would say, the first, the first part is like at least you're uh, you're starting your equipment. I love it. And you need to get on a bike soon. All right. Take your license if you did uh, don't have it yet, like I did. Oh wow. And uh, and so that's like uh, an Indian. Bon merci backpack. So this is a real, this is a real uh, biker's backpack. That is the real uh, deal. Yes. Okay, so you've got the Indian. So right motor. there, walking in the street of Philly, you look like a biker. But thank you for this really beautiful gift. I, I do, I do love backpacks. So I'm definitely going to be uh, uh, representing Indian uh, motorcycles and of course uh, Bon Merci. So thank you very much for that. You're welcome. Uh, thank Thanks you once so. again for being here. Thank you for. Uh, allowing us to represent you as an authorized uh, dealer at uh, Gothenburg Jewelers. Uh, we love your watches, we love the future, we love the direction that you're going in, and uh, we look forward to seeing even bigger and greater things that you will accomplish uh, while heading this uh, wonderful watch company uh, in the next uh, few years. Thank you so much for having me, and again, we're very proud to be uh, part of the Gothenburg family, and uh, so in Philly, when you want to watch, you know where to come. Absolutely, and we'll see you in New York for the Balmatic. Thank, Thank you very much. <laughs>